Okay, here's the new G5 Trout Spay from Sage. Uh, this is my rod, my demo rod. Get a good look at it there. Very pretty finish. Nice classic brown color. Kind of reminds me of some of the original Sage two-handed rods from back in the day. There's a look at the wraps that you can see there. Um, high quality cork, of course. Nothing less from Sage. Uh, pretty basic real seat at this price point. Uh, what you're getting for your money is just performance. But one thing I do really like about this rod, the knob on the bottom hand uh, is great. This is a, a pretty thin grip. And then being able to just grab uh, and really execute on the bottom hand is, is kind of nice without any slippage or anything like that. Uh, as far as performance goes, um, this, this rod surprised me a little bit. It's not, it doesn't have the, the snappy octane uh, of the HD. Uh, that's their top end version. But I'm telling you, this thing, there, there's not a caster out there that's going to be really say, oh, I'm limited by performance on that G5. This is kind of older technology and older materials. It's Generation 5. It's not the Kinetic or the Kinetic HD technology of Sage's extreme top end rods, but the design is absolutely fantastic. It's a fun rod to cast, easy to cast. Uh, this is the four weight here, and I'm throwing uh, a line that's a little light. It works good for me. It's a 275 grain uh, Rio in touch Skagit Trout Spay. The line weight that I recommend for this rod is a 325 grain Rio in touch Skagit Trout Spay for the number four. For the number three, we're going to take that all the way back to 275 grains, which is what I'm throwing here. But the rod's pretty friendly. It's not too particular on line selection. Uh, in the OPST realm, if you're fishing areas that are much tighter, which require shorter casts and uh, are a little bit more technical with currents and boulders and sticks and things and you're fishing in tight, an OPST system would be great on this rod. On the number four, uh, we like a 300 grain OPST commando with an OPST 96 grain tip. And on the number three, we're gonna run 250 OPST commando with a 96 grain tip. So uh, most everybody using these rods is gonna be Skagit style casting. We haven't thrown any Scandi lines on this. Um, but one thing that is really surprising about this rod is I can take, and it's a light feeling rod, but I can really get into it with my bottom hand. Uh, and that rod tends to, to take the cast and just really throw some tremendous casts. Uh, when you really need to lean into it, I can just crank my bottom hand right into my stomach and I'm not getting any fold up in that rod. I'm not getting any inconsistencies. I'm not getting surprised when one cast throws great and then one cast just totally takes a big dump out there. I, I'm very uh, pleased with uh, the consistency of the rod. So um, the, the common comparison is a lot of people are asking just to, to compare and contrast the Loomis IMX Pro Shorts Bay. Uh, that's been one of our company favorites for a long time. Um, one of the biggest differences, this rod's shorter. Uh, this rod's eight inches shorter in the four weight. Uh, in the three weight, it's 11 inches shorter. So this rod feels a little bit fishier for your shorter casts, uh, a little bit more precise. If you're doing some snap jigging and cross jigging and cross leading your fly, that shorter rod is gonna give you a little bit more control. I would say just for rod distance, if you were to, to sit back and just throw the longest line you possibly could, of course, longer rods out to about 12 feet are gonna give you a little bit more velocity and line speed. It's just a, it's a bigger lever. Um, but I, yeah, as far as, uh, the, the, the buy on this rod goes great value at 650 bucks. I'm really glad Sage kind of filled that niche um, with a US built Sage quality product, cast like a dream, 650 bucks. I think it's a great choice. Uh, we've got them in stock at Reds. And uh, if, if we don't happen to have them in stock, when you click through and watch this video, just know that we have a really good pre-order function. A lot of these rods, they Sage is a small company. Um, they build rods very carefully and very slowly. So it's hard to keep up with demand these days. So do the pre-order thing and we'll put your name on one. And that way, the minute it arrives at Reds, it, it'll ship literally within hours of that rod coming back in stock if you pre-order it. So uh, great rod. Uh, the fly I'm throwing here happens to be a number eight meat sweats. Um, it's a lightly weighted streamer, um, picks it up and casts wonderful. You know, and if you're going to be throwing a lot of the larger weighted conehead stuff, go with the number four, um, especially if you're uh, throwing for brown trout or anything that you're going to, any situations that you're going to want to throw 
articulated streamers, go with the number four. Uh, if you're throwing sparse buggers, soft tackles, little stuff, that number three is a fantastic all-around rod. But this time of year out here near Reds, um, we're often throwing long casts with big flies and heavy tips, and number four uh, fits really nicely. So that's this G5 Trout Spay from Sage. Great product. Check out more information uh, in the link in the video description.